let's get a little crazy, because gaming should be fun. Hey, 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 this is Miss Valley Gaming. I'm Dread, and the game is Miss Survival. Please don't forget to smash your like button, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel for more of all of this gaming greatness. Greatness, I tell you, it's great. The bell icon on the lower right will get you notifications for my next video. I'm bringing the crazy. This game's bringing the fun, so let's do this. We will start our fun off by having some rest. Oh, yeah. Nothing like a good rest. Yeah. All cozy dozy in my bed. Don't you wish you were cozy dozy in your bed? I bet you do. All right. Good morning, misty people. Sleep so cute. Morning, Kate. Okay, uh, what's going on? Alrighty. Alrighty. And all oh, freaking righty. Grab some bud. Gotta get some bud in the Tim Tim. Yes, because we are leaving here. Pete's driving me crazy. We're out of here. No, I'm kidding. Uh, oops. Let's uh, drink till enough. Fill our water. All right. Quick save a risky. We are gone. Good for stuff. We're all good for stuff. Well, today we are heading for the suburbs, or at the very least the army camp before the suburbs, so. Going someplace new for, uh, for this playthrough. something different. What? I don't even care about that. I have so many iron scraps right now. It's ridiculous. I almost need to build more, uh, build more containment. Containment? Oh my goodness. Uh, I need to build more lockers and such. Pretty much at this point, I want to collect any more iron scrap. Please, sir, may I have some more of that dirty water? Mm, here it is, boy. Filling it up with E. Because F button would be bad. Make me sick to my tum tum. That's not good. All the lockers here are empty. We, uh, we empty those out. Before I had my nap, before we started the video, we weren't all full. There was only two of them full, but we emptied them. So now we're all good for inventory space in the old truckio. Old Big Red. Old Big Red. That's right. Also, the name of my shop teacher in high school. because he was covered in blood because he was such klutz. No, I'm kidding. I didn't even have a shop teacher in high school. It was the days of the dinosaurs. I, they hadn't yet figured out how to, how to teach Neanderthals, so... Didn't really even have high school. 
Ah, bandits. Oh, don't you dare shoot at me. Oh, you pissed me off, you. I'll come back and run you over. Yeah, we can't do that. We can't even do that. We different. I'll shut the shut the shut the gas off. I was gonna say. Um, turn off the gas in the house, Mabel, before we go away for the week, huh? I have no idea what I'm talking about. Shut the truck off so we don't waste gas. That was it. Hello. Oh, so I need more rags too. Okay. Let's go ahead. Nothing. Nothing. No, the guy had rags. Okay. They both had rags. Friggin' waste of my time. Wow. I would have punched them both, but that would be just a waste of my punching skills, so... Bunch of morons with their rags. more arrows than I need to. Or rags. Are you kidding me? You're lucky, buddy. I was about to poop out a bloody watermelon. And I don't mean bloody like the English say. I mean actually literally a bloody watermelon. Got more rags. Rags. You no, know, I got some salt. I don't actually need salt, but, you know, it's nice to collect it. I want to see if I can get, like, you know, a collection of, like, 100 salt or something. That'd be pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Completely useless, but yet actually really cool at the same time. Anybody out there playing this game, what is the biggest collection of salt you've had in one place? Why am I missing an arrow? Just curious. If you had like a large collection of salt. I mean, I've, I've got it in the 30s right now, and I, th I don't think I've ever had it into the 40s at one time. I'm aware of, anyways, that I remember. So, just curious if you guys have had like a bigger, bigger amount of salt than that that you could recall at one time. I suppose if you're farming the infected like it pretty much every night, you, you, could, you could get up there pretty quick. Okay, so if you remember, right up this uh, here is where we, uh, we went to the little bandit camp up there and rescued Kate. Over there is a, uh, the army base that we've all looted down. The base, it's a, like an army roadblock area. sure we went to this place already because we grabbed an engine out of there and we killed the infected in that house yeah yeah, yeah. we did that I'm sure we did that okay. no, I'm not sure thought we did that didn't we do that Oh yeah, this is open. We we definitely did. Okay, yeah, we did that. All right. Good chat. How y'all doing today? Welcome to Miss Valley Gaming. My name is Dread. What do we do here at Miss Valley Gaming? Well, at Miss Valley Gaming, I'm Dread, and I'm the sole proprietor and uh, stock boy. I'm, I'm the water boy. Uh, 
know, Team Towel Boy. I clean the ice after the games with my tongue. Um, basically, uh, I, 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 I advertise myself as what I am. I am a slightly below average gamer who uh, enjoys almost entirely single player games. Uh, almost entirely uh, survival type games or that, that type of thing or uh, uh, fantasy, high fantasy type games. I've played a few MMOs, not a lot, but a few. Um, RPGs, definitely RPG person. Um, and, uh, and what I do is I come on here and I show off some very beautiful games. I like games that are either very quirky and fun and light or are uh, just extremely beautiful as far as the graphics and the worlds that they've created and I, I have a hell of a blast uh, playing games that I love and I bring you along for the ride and I got a weird sense of humor and uh, I'm a little cray cray so that's uh, Miss Valley Gaming and me Dread in, in a nutshell so come along for the ride folks everyone's welcome treat each other with respect that's all I care about Happy good games Good golly, Miss Molly. Whatever that is, I do with anything. So, welcome to the start of the suburbs. There are some houses back up in here. And there's an army base right up in here. I, I would call it a temporary type army, army base. I don't think it was made as a uh, permanent one necessarily. Well, it could be wrong. So nice early in the morning there are uh, bandit areas in the suburbs and just past the suburbs so you have to be aware of all that do a little loot in here on these cars. I might smash a few things up, but at this point, I'm really not going to take any uh, metal scraps. I just don't even have room for them at the moment. I got too many. There's like four containers full of them, so... And having said that, I pick one up automatically, yeah. Stop doing that, Brad. Stop doing that. Okay. Can't smash these up. Can't drive those. They just look cool. They make you want to smash them and drive them, though. It's not a tire you can loot. It just looks kind of like one, but it's not. You can smash this car. Smash it up from this side. If you smash it up from this side, you get things that will bounce inside of here, and then you get a duck down and go in through there to get them. So if you smash them from over here, usually it doesn't happen. Okay, so first thing it does is make me have to be a liar. Yeah, it did. Oh gosh darn it, I'm grabbing the wrong crap too. Stop that. I don't need those. Can't get this from here? Nope. Check this card yet? I don't think I did. Taking that gas. Give me. I don't think there's anything else here. There is a uh, right, uh, right. I don't want to do that. Right over there at the end of my spear, that's another White House. But right across from it, going that direction, is a bandit base. So, yeah. And uh, way down past these trees here, off to the right, is a little gas station. And then just across from it and a little bit down is another bandit base, including with a 
high towery thing with a sniper, guy with a sniper rifle. Uh, he will blast you from a distance and kill you. Generally speaking, one shot you get, so... Uh, be careful of that. That's to be careful of that. Not much here. Just these cool looking vehicles that I wish we could do something with. Wish there was some kind of interaction we could have with them or something. They look kind of rusted out. I was going to say burnt out, but they look more rusted, I think, than burnt. They're pretty cool looking, though. You can't, can't get in these boxes, these cool military crates you can't get into. You can get the back of the truck. Or if you will be able to at some point. Maybe. If you're bored and you want to, you can uh, get this tree up. Why not? In case you want to drive up this way later. I'll do this. over here to smash up. Continue on down this road. At the bottom of the road, there's a few more cars to smash up, and then we go into the actual suburbs itself. I was going to say subdivision. Suburbs. Yes. This is a tree. It gives metal parts. Stop. Yes, you can break it up with a sledgehammer. Uh-huh. We call it ironwood. I don't know whether it's a mistake or or not. There are two of them like that in the game currently. We'll see if after the 0 0.5 update in July, if they still exist or not. Who knows? Imagine a lot of those little things might have changed when that comes out. It's going to be different. The game's going to be, I would say, li largely the same, but yeah, there's going to be some differences too. Which makes it exciting. I mean, this game is always exciting to me, but still. A couple of cars down there, and then a road going that way and this way. There's a house up here, too, which we could go visit if we feel like it. Do you want to go visit that house right now? All right, we'll just visit this one house up here. Um, water towers, always climb the water towers, see what's up there. You search them, you can usually find something, except for the one at the White House, which has nothing. Although, come July, that might change too. Lots of these little things might change. Suitcase with some stuff. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I won't say no. In fact, I'll say yes. And yeah, that'll that'll be it. But I'll walk around here anyway, so you can see that house has infected in it. Pretty much tell it's got an open door on the porch there. That helps. This road turns around, it goes up here, it's blocked off, and then it goes up here, and there's a church and some more stuff, and it goes, yeah, it's, there's quite a, quite a, a fair amount of, of uh, suburbs here. You want to say subdivision. Suburbs. I mean, subdivision isn't necessarily wrong, but, yeah. Okay, nothing on top of this trailer. We can see that from up top. Throw this down here. The road. Right here by the army base, which we're going to want to loot after. Some good stuff in there. Or 
remember if this has infected in it. I think it does. Could be potentially getting a miss soon, so I gotta keep an eye on that too. have affected they might it might have affected at least sometimes Is there a, a knife in one of these pieces of furniture or something like taking out of one I might think of a different house maybe maybe I think of a different house yeah I think so can't pick up. Ratty, we need pants. I know Ratty didn't know that. kits are pretty valuable. They're not used for a lot, but the thing is, there's only so many sewing kits and you can't make more, so makes them fairly valuable still. books? Apparently not. It's called The Secrets. Alright. If you write a book about it, it's probably not a secret anymore. I'm just saying. Just saying. Also, I'm just saying. I tell you, all oh, some more gloves. I want those socks? I want to wear them on my hands to make puppet shows. Should be allowed. Ooh, nails. Yeah, houses generally have some good stuff in them. Generally speaking, good places to loot. Yeah. How are we doing? We're, we're running a little low on space. So what I'm going to do is run down here. Pick up the suitcase. I'll run on back to the truck. You know, technically, I could probably drive the truck right up to this area or whatever, right up into the base, but... Eh. Don't feel like it. Just don't feel like it, folks. 
But if you want to play the game that way, go ahead. Just go right the freak ahead. I won't argue with you. I mean, obviously I'm right. But I'm not going to argue with you. miss this one. This still had stuff in it. Oh. Didn't realize that. Grand. Oh well. Okay. save here. We're going to run up into the army camp now. Yeah, we're gonna, we'll take it from this direction since I just want to. Works back towards the truck that way, I guess. Makes sense, right? It is kind of walled off. It's... Yeah. I guess it is more of a permanent base because of the walls and stuff. And a sort of. More permanent than the other one we've been at anyways. That's my feeling on it. All right, take this. Look over there. Nothing else in here or up on any of these things on that area. We go this way outside of the fence. We got a nice fan sunk into the ground there. We can't have light there. We can't have nice chair. We can't have, but we do have a filing cabinet over here. Loot that. Alright, what else we got? We have got other stuff. Probably everything's loaded in properly, that is. In this tent, we've got this. Whatever, don't judge me. You judgy McJudgers and you. Okay, between these. Oh, there's something that didn't load in right here. Maybe a table or something there. That's fine, whatever. Revolver. Yep. It's pretty powerful. Two revolvers, I guess they're doubly powerful. That's awesome. Yes, yes. I know it only holds two things, and I'm taking it anyways. I like to not take containers, you know. Not taking things is not my thing. Nothing in here. Clean the tents. We got a can of fruit. Canned beets in there. Cola. Iron. Over here we got some metal scraps that I don't want. Not gonna take. Some more metal scraps. Oh, what's 
Not up there. I wonder. Go up here. Jump up here. There you go. Ooh, nice body armor. Packing the truck. Forgot about these things. So, hmm. Hopefully, this works okay. I think it will. Let's, uh, let's work on moving this. Or this way a bit more. Not quite that much. That's too much. Scrolling, come on. Not quite, but almost. This work? I think if it doesn't, I can put them on top. Way to find out. Yeah, it works. Wrong baton. You're like, you have a baton? Yes, yes I do. Scum, I have a police baton. I never used it, but I have one. This is not scum. This is a Miss Survival. It is sacrilege, I know. It is better than scum. I like it better than scum. But I like scum a lot. So I don't really have a lot of stuff. Go do some more looting. Um, should I? Yeah, I should probably. Oh, you know, I'm gonna go do more looting. If I find any more containers, I'm not gonna be able to take them. That's all. here with some army trucks and junk but there's generally speaking no loot in there so it's just kind of a area that separates the army base from the rest of civilization I don't know no loot in there little staging area parking area whatever you want to call it it's what it is So those guys are in the blue house with the white trim past the fence, the bandits, and they will walk into this yard and out in between these trees and stuff here and look around. Here's the, uh, the service station. If you look right there, 
is to the left is going to be where the tower is and the sniper is. This here shack is empty, it's got nothing in it. Going back to that area. Climb this and see if we can see anything, any activity across the street, that kind of stuff. Hit base area, I don't see anybody. It is possible that because they do that, they sometimes go walking towards my base, which would take them up this direction. See anybody? More oh, armor. Cool. Okay, so I think we're fairly safe to go looting into this White House here. From the one way in, it's from the front door, so that makes it a little tougher, but I think we're safe to go loot in there. Oops. It's a good place to be in case a mist comes to, because we can barricade ourselves into one of the upstairs rooms. No one infected or anything in here. Some cool paintings. booze, because everybody likes to keep booze in the washroom, right? Yes. Hey, where's all my loot? Not a thing in here? Oh, man, what a gift. I think I didn't come here before and loot this, did I? I don't think so. Let's use the lockpick. It's nice and quiet in case there are bandits around. Yeah, it's looting here at least, but man. It just seems very strange. With some of the loot here. here. Can't loot these, I don't know why. Can't anywhere else. It's this. Can't loot that. Seeing this place with so little loot. Oh, it's getting misty. Okay. Any good movies? I don't know. But there's like three or four copies of one of them. Yeah, you can't play any games here. Or go on the internet. Or listen to music. Or watch TV. Kind of a chip. So let's go here and uh, turn so we're comfy. Have a three hour nap. 
Oh, really? I have a three hour nap. Okay, it's 2.30. By the way, while you're in town, this is considered the town, I should say, the, the suburbs area, it seems like you don't often get to come here and not get a mist. I don't know if it's true or not, but it, it feels to me like if you show up and you're here for any length of time, it's just going to throw a mist at you really quick. It just triggers one, I don't know. So there are no bandits at this little bandit spot here. That's that's kind of interesting. I think you can break this up. Yeah. Can't do anything else with it, so. A few decent things, anyways. That's, that's a red truck you can't drive. You need to get you drive this red car. Is floating. Whoa. Sometimes you break this stuff up. I it's hard to remember exactly where the stuff that can be broken up is, so it doesn't hurt to try. Unless you're alerting bandits with your pounding noises, in which case it's probably a bad idea. Well, hello, Mr. Infected. in a moment. Can't get in that door. Or if any of you are watching this and you're playing the game and you need these, uh, these metal parts, metal scraps, you know, it's painful to see something you need and somebody passing it up. I apologize. Come back to that in a moment. Just we build more containers to pick all this stuff up, but yeah. You know. The other the other log you can break up with a sledgehammer. junk. 
junk I don't need. Not good enough. I got way better ones. Way better ones at the base, yo. Okay, that's it. There's more cars up there. Houses. All oh, goes all the way back. In. It's all over the place. But uh, I think we're done here. You can make this into a base. I've done it before. I've uh, been gating across here. And I put a blacksmith shop right here, facing inwards, but it right up against the house. It uh, it did go a little bit into the upper bedroom, which was a pain in the ass. But other than that, it worked really good. It was a cool little base. A uh, base in the suburbs. That's one thing you can do. We're getting out of here and going back to our base now. We will be coming back and looting more of the houses than cars and killing infected and whatnot in this area, though. And going to the gas station. Ooh, maybe I should go to the gas station before we leave. Yeah, maybe I should hit up the gas station first. What do you think? I think that'd be a good idea. time to do that. And we're at the gas station, so as long as we're careful. See? This has already come and gone, so we should be safe from that. Stay right now. Rock, nothing. Piece of scenery. down here as we keep running down the road we could get spotted by the sniper and taken out no bears hanging out in this area no bears on the other side of the map Door. I think it's obviously do not enter, so. Nothing back here of interest. You've got in this direction over here, you've got a tower and a sniper and bandit base. And down this road, you've got another bandit base. And then way over this way, quite a ways, you've got a city. Careful messing with stuff on this side. Because you will get spotted through the trees. You see, kind of see a bus through the trees? Yeah, the sniper tower is in behind that. You can get spotted out in this area and sniped. So, careful. I'm going to loiter the shit out of this property. I'm just telling you. Need your hard stick. Salt I'll take though. Hey. Help I've been assaulted. Don't need that hard stick either. Those are open food cans, but I will take the sugar. Sewing kit, I don't want the scraps at this time. Thank you time later in the game when I do need all that scrap, I'll come back. As the scrap came back the very next day. The scrap came back. I thought it was a goner. The scrap came back. It just wouldn't stay away. You're welcome. You are so freaking welcome. Yes. Welcome everyone to Miss Valley Gaming. Everyone's welcome here. 
Hey, if you're a new subscriber, welcome to the site. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Life with Dread. Or how to be nutty as shit and stay out of the nut farm. So far. Knock on. Knock on my wooden head. I'll take that. Oh, it's sugar. And... Pretty sure it's empty. Now it's got 1.5 liters. Oh, cool. And in here is uh, not a lot, but a little. It's about to go bad. Chocolate bar about to go bad. Yeah, it's one of those things you gotta fix, right? Things spoil and decay at really weird rates in this game. That needs to get fixed. One of those things, which I'm sure will get fixed before the game actually, you know, finished, so. came nicely. Sometimes these things get kind of stuck. It's never a good thing. We'll take these two containers, which is time-consuming, time but we'll take them both back to the truck. gas station as well as the White House and the bandit base uh, empty for now bandit base across from the White House and the uh, the army base in the suburbs so that's a good start good start to this area it's gonna take us a bit to get through it survival.
Let's head on back to base. like those suitcases on the side. You can tell it just steers just a little bit off. Be really careful with things in this truck. It doesn't like things touching it. That's fairly safe though because it's not near the front of the cab so it's it's not going to be disastrous or at least it shouldn't be. If I say that I'm probably going to flip my truck and it's going to fly 300 feet into the air. But uh, yeah. You begin to notice differences in the way it handles. It kind of slides a bit when you steer and kind of stops. So, yeah, just got to be aware of that. Placement of things in the back of the truck is important. Hey, Bear. Whoa. Hopefully, I managed to avoid it. Apparently, at one point, there was vehicle damage in this game. So, if you ran to a tree or you ran to the bear or whatever else, or you got shot by a bandit your vehicle would actually take damage um, if you accidentally rolled it or did whatever. I guess people were complaining about that when it was here, so I guess they complained to Raddy and he removed it. And it's pretty sure it's going to come back into the game, which tells me that at some point you got to be able to repair your vehicles too, right? Not just repair the, uh, the parts inside to get damaged, like the engines and the spark plugs and whatnot, but there'll be actual vehicle damage and stuff. I'm not going to bother with these cars time so yeah that's something else that'll get added back in uh, as far as we know at some point so right he's got a lot of work still to do in this game and that's not to call him out or say anything bad about this game hello other bear just uh just the way it is shooting today. Great. Oh my gosh, there's another bear here. Invincible or what? I sort of think I'm just wasting my arrows on this bear. I don't think I'm going to hit it. I'm not sure. I don't want to say, oh, the game glitched and that's why I missed or anything, but I am wondering if I was shooting through the bear and it was glitched out or not. I, I don't know. Not saying that's what it was. I'm just curious. I don't know. I don't know the answer. Come back, chicken. Really weird there's two bears over here. Before we do anything else, it's getting late. Let's save my game. Okay, come here, put my arrows away. Couple more arrows, that's alright though. That's alright. 
Lots of bear, apparently. Get up here and get this bear? No. Nope. I didn't lose too many arrows, actually. I lost one. Okay. Ooh, ten. Nice. That's going to take me very, very late. Let's give it a shot, see if we can do it or not. We're going to get killed. I don't know. Over there. Light. All right. What we've got is a hell of a lot of bear meat right now. And no place to put it. Um, this is what we can do. Bunch of these and put them in our cabinet over here. I hear the infected down below. We got left here. Seven. Remember to eat the meat in the cabinets first. As being, uh, it, it will spoil, it will go bad at some point. Okay, so we've got uh, six, twelve, we've got eighteen pieces of meat, which fit on here. Perfect, we don't have to make another rack, then that's good. Cutest butt shape. Uh, I'm just saying. Um, so we're almost ready to wrap things up here. To uh, that in there for now. Throw these things into here for a moment. Still not quite done. Crap. Okay.
Actually, it doesn't really matter what... No, it doesn't. It makes no difference, right? It's all getting dried anyways. Does it make a difference? We're going to get this stuff done, but first we need to get the water going. All right, folks. I'm just going to be cooking and then uh, ending the episode, ending off my uh, my play. So thank you so much for joining me. Uh, please spread the word about the the channel, Miss Valley Gaming, and the awesomeness that is Dread. To everyone you know, keep watching. Do whatever you can. Please and thank you to keep this channel growing and uh, going and growing. Uh, may all your crazy, just like Dread, be in good fun. My name is Dread, and I will see you next time. For Miss Valley Gaming, ciao. Because gaming should be fun.